Please don't be a reject. Please don't be a reject. I do not want you. Thank God. I did not want this thing. I just got a freaking shuckle, but it's not a reject. It's level 35. Yo, shuckle is literally like the best rock type ever. Like, don't even. Whoa. Don't even whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you say that to me when Lycan Rock is sitting right there. Lycan Rock's there. I will fight you. Lycan Rock is the best rock type out there. Boys, girls, cats, girls, what is going on? My name is Ice Alti, and welcome back to episode two of the Pokemon Sword and Shield Surprise Hardcore Cage Lock. That is a mouthful. Either way, I'm here with my buddy Rival Roki. Introduce yourself, man. Hey, yo, what is up, guys? Rival Roki here with the man, the myth, the legend, slightly salty. If you guys haven't seen episode one, it was up on both of our channels, and what are you doing? It was a bad sure to go and watch it yeah i mean can we just talk it about was... how oops sorry oh go ahead i was gonna say can we just talk about how like i got a traded score bunny for a score bunny yeah that was so ironic 800 one in 849 chance yeah right that's nuts man it was nuts in case you guys haven't seen episode one and you're not going back for some reason to watch it you can see on the layout our teams below bang our beautiful teams i am pumped that i have a fully evolved pokemon to start off the series that's absolutely great however it's not great against your score bunny yeah i mean it, it was definitely a good score that's for sure but it, it definitely sucks that you have like a fully evolved pokemon already yeah uh we're going right we're just heading off to the to the um Wild area, we can start moving. It's not a versus, it's a cage lock. We're just heading to the wild area yeah. now. I just got a TM for I just got a TM for Swift. Ooh, wait, where is that? Ooh, one thing I gotta where do. Where is that? Uh you, I... you get it from Hop. Oh, okay, cool. Well I'm gonna go talk to Hop now then. <laughs> we gotta go do gotta go that way anyways. Oh, there we go. And I just remembered I turned off movies before. Uh -oh. So oh no, wait, skip movies off, yeah. Can we turn that back on? What's wrong? Oh, that you turned off movies. Well, yeah, I turned off movies to get get back. In case you guys didn't know, in the last episode, I was actually playing on Sword because there was confusion, I guess. I completely forgot that I was supposed to be playing on Shield, and I didn't have my copy of Shield on me at the time. Uh, my girlfriend had it, and she wasn't home, and I didn't know where she put it. So I started the series on Sword, but I transferred all my Pokemon over to Shield now, and I'm on Shield now. So, I'm playing shield, he's playing sword now. You're not going to see two copies of sword on the screen, so we good. Yeah, that was an oopsie poopsie for me, that's for sure. <laughs> I originally wanted to, like, I've never played shield, and so I was like, oh, a buddy of mine has shield, I'll just borrow his copy and it'll be good. But, turns out he has a digital copy, so I guess I'm the only one who buys physical copies anymore. So, I actually have a digital copy of sword and a physical copy of shield. Okay, that makes sense. I was almost going to buy it just for this series, but I was like, I want the DLCs and I still haven't played through those. So I figure since it's pretty much the same price, I might as well just, you know, save my money and get the DLCs. Sorry, I had to mute there for a second. My dog decided uh, she was going to go and lick the crumbs off the table from whatever my girlfriend ate. Oh, that's that's just glorious. <laughs> so, so I was muting and telling her to get off the table. She was being a little stubborn at first. I wasn't pleased. Yo, sometimes they just, they just do be like that, man. Yeah. This is also different because now is the first episode where the hardcore Nuzlocke comes into play. Because beforehand, last episode, we just played up to the point where we could surprise trade so we could actually get our Pokemon that we're actually going to be using in the Nuzlocke and stuff. So the Nuzlocke didn't really matter much. I mean, either way, neither one of us lost a Pokemon. But yeah, so we had to do that. So be sure in the train station, there's a person that gives you Poke Dolls. Talk to them and get those Poke Dolls. Ooh, that's right. I completely forgot about it. Thanks for reminding me. I've just been trucking along. That way, if we accidentally run into somebody, somebody a little too powerful, we can just poke it all away. Yeah, that's going to come in clutch because I can't even tell you how many times like I go into a new area and I'm like, I think this area is good because it's right beside the level fives I was just catching. And the next thing you know, it's like 25. Welcome to a powerful Pokemon. Exactly. So like, also guys, keep in mind, 
per gym we get two encounters here we're gonna get them like now we're gonna get two now then after the first one we're gonna get two i guess up until the eighth after the eighth we won't get two we'll do it like before the gym type of thing we'll get two in between every gym uh yeah i think that makes sense honestly waiting until like after we beat them and then we can just like head right back and, like maybe we start the episodes with those or whatever yeah type depending on where we're at in the game obviously yeah exactly uh but like we're gonna get two now and then after we beat the first gym we're gonna come back get two more and yeah that because there's not a lot of routes in this game i think there's only like 12 routes so like yeah yeah it's a pretty short like area from what i remember a lot of the the routes are kind of in the wild area from what i recall but i just had a really cool thought you know like right now because we have like level caps and stuff like that and like we're only able to get certain pokemon like yeah but whatever we get later in the game we're gonna be getting like level 30s and 40s and actually be able to use them yeah and so that's when it's really gonna get cool because we're gonna start like actually being able to keep some of these encounters that we get yeah because right now pretty much we need like um we need like people training competitive viable mons trying to like hatch competitive vile mons in order to keep them either people wonder trading uh surprise trading us sorry um route one mons or um what's, what the hell is the word why can't i think of the word uh rejects yeah yeah there's we're definitely gonna get a lot of rejects early on but that's gonna come in clutch because like some of them are gonna be really good i mean i got my score bunny i think you got one as well um not a score bunny but like a reject if i recall all of mine were rejects. All of mine were level ones. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was going to say my drill burr. I think my Chudo might have been, but my drill burr was not. But like, who? Oh, sorry. Who I only Chudo? got two rejects. I just. I got two rejects. I only got two rejects because I got a Route 1 Wulu given to me. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got a, like, a, the mine or whatever for my drill burr. Yo, this freaking funnel bee doesn't want to stay in the Pokeball. I'm catching a big milk. Or I guess a little milk. Catch it. Oh, milkery. Nah, Wingle. What? <laughs> <laughs> Are you calling it little milk? <laughs> do you do you watch Shady Penguin at all? Yeah. Um, so basically he always nicknames his Pelippers Big Milk. I had no clue. Yeah, so then, like, the one series he did, he was talking about how, like, basically Pelipper's, like, beak, goal, like, throat, whatever it, the heck it is, like, looks like a gallon of milk. And so he nicknamed it Big Milk, and so all of his are Big Milk from now on. Wow. Yeah, so... So, in I'm actually going to get connected to the internet now because I caught my Bunnelby. Well, I caught my... I'm naming this Wingle Big Milk. Just, you know, shout out to Shady Penguin for that, so... It only seems right. I feel like oh, it, it's just like the perfect nickname. Um, oh yeah, we have the box now. We have, we do have access to the box now because we talked to um, Sonia. That is right. So you can go and add your Wingle or your Big Milk to your <laughs> box from where you are and surprise trade it away. Yeah, I just tried to do it and I was like, oh yeah, I have to do it from the box. That's, it's kind of lame, honestly, but... It is lame. At least, like, once we get a team of six, everything will automatically go to the box. So that's not bad. That is true. That is true. I mean, like, thinking about it, like, when have we ever been able to access the box up until, like, this game? So, I mean, I guess, I guess yep, it's, it was like, in this game. complaining about first world problems here. Were we able to access it in BDSP? I feel like we were. I do not believe so. Hmm. Um... Actually, I don't know, because I we feel like it was a able true to. remake. I don't, I don't know. Oh, no, we could. No, 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 we could. We were able to. After you spoke with Professor Rowan, uh, after you beat the first gym, you were able to access the box from anywhere. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think you might be right, actually. I cannot remember that game. Dude, I need to finish it still. I got to the Elite Four and, like, just stopped because Legends <coughs> Arceus came out. Sam, I got to the Elite Four in a Rival Lock series with Pancake Wizard. Um, he w he ended up winning the series, spoiler alert. Um, but I never went back and actually finished the game. Yeah. 
Yeah, that that sucks that you lost, but that yeah, I need to go back and finish it. Like, yeah, I don't know. I I like from what I heard, the Elite Four is just ridiculous, and because I'm doing a hardcore Nuzlocke on oh, it, I'm just terrified. <laughs> oh yeah, it is good. I just caught a Tyrogue too, so I've got two surprise trades. I successfully caught both of my things. My first one was um, an Executor, an so. I had to retrade it because it's level 59. Ooh. Also, before I get roasted well, for ignoring all the items, I'm going to go back and get them later. I'm just, I'm not going to stand here and go and grab everything right now because the area is just huge. Yeah, the area is huge. And keep in mind, guys, we can off screen grind so we can get items off screen too. Man, I'm just not getting anything with the surprise trade. Am I in a different. Like, I caught my. I caught my Bunnelby, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to catch the Bunnelby and then catch another Mon, and by the time I'm done catching that Mon, my surprise trade should be done. And no. But now my trade is completed. There you go. So let's see what it is. I feel like it doesn't search if you're, like, in a battle or if you're in something. Like, if you're, like, in conversation Maybe, which I don't or something, get it's weird. Oh, this would have been so good. Also, But do... I guarantee it's not level one. Do the... I guess it kind of would, wouldn't it? I have to double what? check to make sure that this... Oh, I don't even know how I can check. I think this Pokemon might be in the same area. I don't know if I saw the areas change or not, but I, I feel like it should have been because I went a good bit away. I, had, I, I didn't really matter because it's just a surprise trade and we're doing two per... We're allowing us to get two per um, gym, so I don't really think the route matters. Gotcha. Um, I ran into a level 12, I got and I don't know if I can catch this thing. Not gonna lie, because I'm only level 11. Uh, I mean, if you want, you can just go... You can just run and go back to the first route, first area, because you thought that we had to switch areas. So I'll let, I'll let you run and just go get another encounter at the first route. Mm. I'm going to keep trying because I feel like otherwise I'm going to get roasted for it. Wait. Oh. I, I shouldn't have said anything. I was close. I almost had it. Did it? Ooh. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. Hold on. Uh. What do you have? You have Splash and Rapid Spin, I believe. I don't think... So my first... So my first surprise trade was a level 60 Toxapex. But I traded it again, and I got a Breject Nidoran. Ooh, that's fire. That's actually yeah, really good. I gotta check that thing. I gotta check that thing out. I can't nickname it, though, because it is a different language. Um, I think I gotta run. It's. I think I have to sacrifice my encounter here. or I mean, I'd probably kill it. No, I don't ooh. even think I can kill it at this point. Because it rapid spinned. I think it's got, um, a, speed, or it got a speed boost. I'm not going to die to a freaking don't, bounce suite. <laughs> don't lose something. I'm not going to lose my Flambino to a bounce nuzlocke. suite. I can't switch into anything. It's got Razor Leaf. I have a Chudo and a Drill Burr. Oh, my God. Dude, I'm, I, I think I got to run. Wait, no, hold on. I think I have Quick Attack. Quick Attack should kill. Right? Yes. Is blue... I have no clue. Quick Attack kills. I don't want to give you... I don't want to tell you and then you lose something. So. It's a crit. I don't know if that was needed You got a crit or he crit you. No, I, I oh, crit okay. it. I don't know if it was needed or not, but there we go. Now we're level 12. Now we get double kick, and now we can catch a level 12 if we had one. Uh, I don't know how to feel about this. My Nidoran... Oh, I don't like this at all. My Nidoran is modest. Ooh, wait, which Nidoran is it? So it's... Nidoran male. It's modest, so it's up in special attack and down in attack, which isn't bad because Nidoking can be a special attacker. However, my ability is Hustle. Oh, that sucks. So that, I don't like that Hustle. That helps my physical attack. That that doesn't help my special attack. Yeah, I mean, that too. Oh. That's a like, double negative. Honestly, like, I don't like... Oh, man, this is totally not going to be it. RocketTPKM.com. There's no way this Pokemon I can... You oh, look at that. A shiny Moltres. <laughs> a shiny Galarian Moltres. I mean, if it's level one, it's level one. I'm not going to lie. Like, I honestly, I think that Galarian Moltres is the only good shiny of the three that doesn't look too much like the original. 
Oh, uh, well, that's that was the whole reason. They wanted the shinies to look like the original. Oh, yeah, no, I like that. Please, I just feel like they looked too please much. Please don't be a breject. Please don't be a breject. I do not want you. I'm going to... Oh, yep, it definitely was a different area. Well, I was going to double check to make sure that I like that encounter was legit, but yeah, I totally... That sucks. Thank God. I did not want this thing. I just got a freaking Shuckle, but it's not a Breject. It's level 35. Yo, Shuckle is oh. literally, like, the best rock type ever. Like, don't even... Don't even, man. <laughs> whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you say that to me when Lycanroc is sitting right there. Lycanroc's there. I will fight Lycanroc's you. Lycanroc's there. I will fight you. Lycanroc is the best rock type out there. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, Lycanroc is pretty solid. I do like, I like the fact that it has different forms and stuff. I really like the Midnight form, honestly. I think it looks pretty, like, just sick. Okay, Roki, do we have an issue here? No, like, I'm saying that, like, I'm saying all the forms look cool. I'm just saying, like, I like the look of it. Midnight? Dude, you can't tell me that that Dude. doesn't look, like, total, like... Just... Midnight's my least favorite. Yeah, it, it can be the least favorite, favorite, but it's favorite. still cool looking. It's not bad, but like midday is my favorite, dusk is my second, midnight's my last. That is fair. You know, I was excited because I got a Shellos and I was like, dude, this is great. Except, I mean, it's another water type, but it's also a level 60. Plus, I have two grass types, so it's fantastic for me. Oh yeah, dude, I have a grass weakness and you have two grass types. To be fair, I have two grass types and you have a score bunny. That is also fair. This and isn't your other mod a rookity? Uh, no, no. I have a drillber and choodle. Oh, yeah. Although, does steel resist grass? Or am I just being stupid? Um, I th think it might, actually. I think steel might resist grass. I think grass is neutral against a steelix. Yeah, it is. It is. I was going to say, I thought so. But then again, your drillber is only ground right now not steel Ooh, this is true this is true and i can't lose that thing this early oh i got a cleffa <laughs> it's such a cute little waste of time oh his name's pp take good care of pp is, <laughs> is it is it in your level do you have to keep it i will forever take care of your pp sir it is a level 18 <laughs> what is our level cap it's, it's 20. 20. Ooh, 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 ooh. See your you got to be careful, though, because you might have to box that eventually so it doesn't go over level 20. Oh, I'm keeping it in the box for now. I'll get it whenever we get closer. Uh, let's see. What do you got? Uh, I can live with that. That's not bad. That's not bad. Neutral nature. I was, like, looking at t the two TMs we have currently, and I'm like, ooh, should I teach somebody something? And I'm like, oh, wait. No. Cage lock. Cage lock. <laughs> you know, I was just think like you said that, and I was like, oh yeah, we do have a TM. Dude, I can't even tell you how many times like the first couple episodes where it's just like, what are the rules? I don't remember. So <laughs> if you guys forget like we do, they're down in the description. Go and check them out. We probably horribly explained them last time. At least I know I did. Yeah. Also, were we supposed to grind up to level ten? Uh, yes. Oh, I forgot to do that. I actually... I'm level 9 and 8, though. I was grinding at the end of last uh, episode. Yeah, I was going to say, I got to level 11. Well, by... Well, that was... Yeah, whenever I was, like, getting my... um, I was catching Mons to, like, trade earlier. Um, okay. To get my IBA Pokemon. And... Yeah. I... Yeah. We accidentally got a couple, like, an extra level. But... This is kind of what happens sometimes. What the hell? Pigtails... But, yo, speaking of that, like, it has just been crazy trying to get, like, I have had so much technology problems today. It's hilarious. <laughs> like, first my laptop, and then I get here, and then the internet, and then my Switch dock, and then my controller. Yeah, it hasn't been a great day for Roki. <laughs> it's been rough, but I'm excited to, like, be going through this game and, like, to be recording and playing and stuff, dude. That's definitely, definitely a mood brightener. You know what? Should we rock out with the pink? Mine red. Um, Ooh. there is a special mart here, by the way. If you want some heel balls, nest balls, or net balls. Wait a minute. Nope, none of those matter. I was thinking something else. What's, what's the one Pokeball that's like 
basically a master ball by like before level 20. Nest ball. Is it nest ball? I think so. Because they sell them here. <coughs> I don't know if that was if that's like a master ball though before level 20. No, it's like not technically, but like it's got like an extremely high catch rate or something like before a certain level. I can't remember well, what I know, it is. I know nest balls are generally better on weaker Pokemon. That's what I still is. haven't gotten my second surprise trade. Yeah, well, I only get one surprise trade. <laughs> I've been doing story stuff. Like, I'm talking to Leon right now. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, I'm about to go up to the thing. I just thought of this. I'm going to go over here, grab this. Get a nice nugget. Are you in the wild area or no? Uh, no, I'm in Modest Oak. I got the nugget. Okay. And I'm going to fish if I can. Nope, I can't. My trade is completed. I'm saying bye-bye to Shuckle. You're going to get a, a Weedle. I'm calling Weedle. Be a Breejack, be a Breejack, be a Breejack. Yo, dude, I'm so sorry if this is a Breejack. I've never heard somebody get so I excited am. for a Weedle, man. I am so sorry if this is a Breejack. Okay, I'm gonna go to Surprise Tree just because... It's level one! No! Oh no, what is it? <laughs> Not gonna lie, water literally washes my team. I know, that's why I was so excited. It's got water absorb. Oh, it's modest. <laughs> Who the frick? Are they just breeding for perfect IVs at this point? Probably. That's probably what they're doing. It probably wasn't perfect. This is, pr I'm, I'm sure this is like a 31, 31, 29, 31. Dude, that's rough. That's, Were you able to find a fishing spot? Yet? Uh, I don't think you can until you you have to get to like the other part of town. So you just have to like go and do like a little bit of story stuff. Ah, uh, it's only on the other part. I think I might be able to go the other yeah, way. Actually, I think I'll, oh yeah, yeah, because I went the one way. To nah, go, you're gonna have to me. go up. Yeah, it's because they want you to go to the uh, what's it called? the gym right now for your opening ceremony yeah you have to go and register and do all that hoopla i think we'll have to register and battle uh team uh team yell <laughs> yeah there's like a bunch but of one thing that does really have... benefit you what's that yeah one thing that does really benefit you is leon gives you a charcoal yeah that... so if you can win a cage match and you get held items on your score bunny Yo, that's right. Dude, the fact that I started with a score bunny and got a score bunny came in so clutch there. Yeah, it did. If I don't I lose was, like, it first pumped, cage I was match. Like, I was pumped. I'm like, yo, this item is about to be great. I'm about to get a miracle seed. And I'm like, no, I got a charcoal. Yeah. And I don't have a fire type yet. Well, I mean, thinking about it, dude, like we still have like four, five, six encounters before the gym. Yeah, well, we got we got the fishing encounter. Then we got one to the the route to the left. We've got the cave, um, and then we've got the route right after the cave. We've got four more encounters before the gym. Okay, yeah, then we got plenty, dude. I'll be fine as long as I can catch them. So, what number did you go with for your uniform? I'm um, talking to the guy right now. I think I'm gonna go with the double zero. Double zero, dude. I did uh, double oh seven. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah. I like to go double, double zero. Back when I played baseball as a kid, I uh, that was my number. It was my brother's number first, and when my brother aged out, I took the double zero jersey. Dude, that's dope. I didn't even know that you could get like a zero, like a double zero jersey. Uh, not many teams have it. That's crazy. <laughs> they just had it, and my brother found it in like the uh, the wardrobe because we, uh, not the wardrobe, but like the equipment closet because we were good friends with like uh, the city, the people that ran the ball league so we were helping them organize stuff and he just found like the jersey because our team name was the dragons and he found a dragon's jersey that said double zero and he's like i'm taking this no i'm like he's like this is my jersey number he's like i don't care what you say this is my jersey number that's nice and then it just stayed in the family until i aged out it just passes it on from generation to generation yeah well he had it then i had it and the other ones uh don't play for the same city anymore so my younger siblings well, you can pass it on to your boy one day. 
Maybe. Maybe <laughs> if I live in that city. <laughs> I am fair. actually moving back to that city now. Okay, well, there you go, man. Maybe it's just all working out full well, circle. City, city district... Because, like, I live on an island. I live on the island of Montreal, right? And then, like, you've got, like, the cities in the island. Dude, how is Montreal? I, I haven't been, like, I've only been to British Columbia. Montreal's not bad. Uh, Montreal's, like, the good out of, like, all of Quebec. Okay. If you want English, you have to go to Montreal. You're not going to find English off-island. Oh, really? Off of Montreal, you will. It's very French. Oh, Wow. Yeah, where we went, it was, like, everybody, at least, that we talked to spoke English. But uh, granted, I think it was, like, more than likely, like, you know, because it was a tourist, like, thing. Because we went on a cruise, and we stopped there. All right. Yo, so I am battling Team Yell. Okay, we, we're just, like, hopscotching back and forth as to who's in the lead here. Not that it matters, because it's well, not Well, I mean, versus, it's not a versus, but, either way. Yeah. I'm did just banking that this guy goes down to one moon blast. Did, did, did I heal? Uh, I think they heal you actually before the battle because I'm at 31. Well, they better, or I'm dead. <laughs> Either way, I'm gonna hope. I don't. I don't really think they have any move variety besides normal type moves, and I'm leading with my Gore Geist. Oh, wouldn't it be nice to have a Ghost type already? Oh, it's so uh, it's a ghost type with fairy type moves for Team Yell. I have Moonblast. Uh, dude, they totally don't heal you, and I'm totally like screwed here. Really? Dude, I am screwed. Oh, straight I straight up, man. I, I might honestly white here. <laughs> no. <laughs> dude, like I'm not even kidding. No like way. if I can't one shot their entire team with double kick, like I'm dead. Which I mean, I think I can, but. Oh, that's oh, a crit. Oh, you probably can. Dude, what level are you? Dude, Flambino is a beast, dude. He was like, no, nah, I'm coming with this nickname. You can't change it. It's the Nicket that I would be more worried about. Because, like, the Zigzagoon is quad quad weak. That is true. That is true. But And then you have a Nicket. And plus, you have to do a double battle here, I think. Uh, Yes, you are Ooh. right. Double battles are fun. Is anybody, is anybody healed on your team? Uh, I mean, yes. So my oh you do it, you do a double battle with Hop and Hop heals you before the double battle. So you should be good. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say I have Drillber, and I have Choodle. Choodle's down like a little bit, but I think I feel like a double kick kills here. A double kill should kill the Nicket. If, if I would hope, I would quick hope. attack. Oh no, <laughs> are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Are you good? I'm good. Okay, so it kills. It, I had to two kick it, but it, it kills. <laughs> I saw quick attack and I was Yo, like, oh, oh no, but it only did like two damage. I mean, they're level <laughs> nine. Levels are square uh, 12. Well, 13 now. Okay. So, I'm not worried. Yeah, I'm just, I'm one shotting them all with moon blast. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like level 10 was probably a very safe bet. Yeah, it was. But. He got a crit on me. He lowered my special attack. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no no no. So no, god, no. I just love <laughs> I just love that I have a fully evolved ghost type right now with Moonblast that's just demolishing his their entire Dude, that's team. literal pog. Like I don't even think that like score bunny can beat that. Like I feel like a Moonblast kills. I don't think so. No? I, the fire resist fairy, doesn't it? No, farriers is fire. Mm. It might be. It might oh. be. They might resist each other. I know sometimes that's the case. Like bug and dark, I believe. No, bug super effective against. Oh, not bug and dark. Bug and fighting. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. Either way, after this team yell stuff, you want to wrap it up. We're at about 27 minutes in the episode. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. I went really right, high perfect. pitch there. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that sounds good. Dude, dude, Let what me know. the I'm heck? saving now. I have gotten what? three crits this episode with my score bunny. You know how many times I've attacked with my score bunny this episode? Maybe like three, three times. <laughs> it is insane. What the heck?
But yeah, that sounds like a good point. I was actually thinking the same thing. I was like, I don't know how long we've been going here. I hope he's been keeping track of time because I can't see my timer with like... Oh yeah, I put um I put a stopwatch on. Oh, okay, bet. When I uh, started the episode, so like when we actually got into the episode, I put a stopwatch on just to keep. Because like guys, we're 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 aiming for around twenty five minutes each episode. Twenty twenty five minutes, I think we said. Yeah, yeah, somewhere between that About, range. Around twenty five. We went a little higher this time, but like we want to keep these enjoyable, and we want you guys to be able to watch the entire episode. We don't want it to seem tedious watching a hour of power or something like that. So, those once in a while. Are like fun, but like all the time. Nah. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, sometimes like, you know, we'll record, you know, 25, 30 minutes and then it ends up being like 20, 25 minutes in the end, you know, some little stuff that maybe gets cut along the way. Never know. Yeah. So you never know. But either way, guys, that is going to be it for episode two of the Pokemon Sword and Shield Hardcore Surprise Cage Lock. Yes, it's a mouthful. But either way, Rival, Roki. You got any final words? Bye, have a beautiful time. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to check out episode two on Roki's channel tomorrow. That's it for this one, guys. If you guys did enjoy, and as always, stay salt.